On today's Candy Spot, we're having a look at the Monsters University Surprise Egg. As that most of these eggs have already come from the same company, yes, this also comes to us from the folks over at Zany. Zany, right down below. Makers of surprise eggs since sometime. I don't know when. It actually doesn't even say anywhere on here. Lots of writing. Lots of ingredients of multiple languages. It says made in China also on the side. Uh, the thing is, with it being a foil egg... Well, the egg itself isn't foil, but the outside wrapper is foil. The only problem with the foil, you can't quite really read any sort of warnings that it would have been on here. If it had said, this contains poison, you would not be able to tell that because the foil has been all folded, manipulated, and bent in a way that you won't be able to read it. Spot, let, let me put your mind at ease. Of course, there is no poison inside of this, but on the outside, there is Sully. Maybe we'll get a Sully inside. We'll obviously get one of the cast of Monsters University inside this surprise egg. I love surprise eggs. They don't make nearly enough of these. Zany, you need to make more of these surprise eggs. Needless to say, let's get this egg opened up. I'm sorry. Yes, Spot is battling, hopefully winning, a war against a cold. There's the egg right there. Inside, dreams and wishes of children of around the world. Spot's probably used that material before. Spot's material is very limited right now, as he is again. What's that? Yes, battling a cold. There is... Get that piece of chocolate off there. Stay off there, chocolate. All right, you know what? You're going to come along? Fine, we'll come along. There is the egg. Let's break the piece of chocolate off there. Hmm. Chocolate tastes like chocolate. That's good. That's a good sign. And let's open this up. Before, well, well we kind of have, we already kind of know who's in it, but let's open up the wrapper. And what do we got? I see with my little eye. I spy with my little eye. There's several different PVC figures, and then next to it, there's like almost like a like a 3D foam keychain hook thingamajigger this is always with monsters surprise always with monsters surprise sure okay i'm on board for always with monsters surprise on the back side some additional language zero to three would be not the age that you would be buying this i'm sure your parents would probably be buying it but do stay away from these if your age is zero to three Maybe you do your own shopping at ages 0 to 3. I would hope not. Pushing that cart around. That would be quite a labor at that age. Oh, I can't even open this. Oh, my strength isn't what it was. And by strength not what it was, I mean like yesterday. My strength was... I also put a lot of moisturizer on my hands, which isn't helping my cause at all. You know what? Hold on a second. Why Spot really just didn't have his knife with me at the time of shooting this review is beyond me, but let's open up the plastic. And inside... Again, I, I guess... Well, it's Sully. We know that. He's got a little knapsack. He's like, hey, kids, stay in school. He's, um... He's almost like the material of a fruit roll-up. Don't eat these. Don't eat these. Don't even listen to what I just said. They're not fruit roll-ups. But it's 3D, as that they are contoured pieces. And there's a little hook on the top, a little loop. It doesn't really come with a hook, though, so you would have to put this on something. And because he is so thin and rubbery, uh, he does bend, and he's kind of warped. You might want to maybe put this on a desk, Rest a really heavy book on top of it to flatten this out. Ugh. Not bad, though. Not a bad-looking piece. I just have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Maybe with that little hook on the top, that little loop. I could even hang it as a Christmas ornament. I get one of those paper clips. You know, where you kind of fold the paper clip open. It looks like an S. Loop it on there, on the Christmas tree. That's my gift to the world and Christmas. We're not even close to Christmas right now. We're not even remotely close to Christmas right now. But we should always think about Christmas. 
Today's candy spot robbing look at the zany Monsters University surprise egg. Spot got himself sully inside, slightly warped, and he is not a fruit roll-up. Don't eat these and don't blame me for it. I didn't tell you to eat them and they're not fruit roll-ups. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more candy spots heading your way. Thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you guys next time.